Christian Risto, the Mad Max of New Mexico. This guy gave up a gig doing special effects in Hollywood to live in the middle of the desert. The reason? To focus completely on his own creations. This is a backpack-powered, double-armed flamethrower, liquid fuel. This is the uh, mortar-style air cannon. Basically, anything I drop down the barrel shoots out. Today, we're shooting this lovely red bowling ball. Watch. <laughs> <laughs> he calls this one the subjugator. Well, it can pick up small cars and motorcycles and um, twirl them around. So it's great for destroying stuff. It's a very exhilarating feeling. It, I, it's one of the things that makes me feel the best in, in my life. Now Risto's attempting his biggest backyard invention of all. The Hand of Man is a gigantic human forearm and right hand, made from steel, actuated by hydraulics, capable of doing pretty much every range of motion that a normal human hand can do. When it's complete, the Hand of Man will be as big as a bus, even longer if you include the base. It'll be operated by a glove. Anyone who puts it on their hand will have instant superhuman strength. No human can walk up to a car and crush it and pick it up and throw it. But with this hand, you will basically have that experience. The challenge now is to turn that dream into reality. How do I make this thing powerful enough? How do I make it balanced? How do I make it not fall over? How do I power it? 18 3 it's long side with a 16 3 it's not just the sheer size of the sculpture that's overwhelming. Risto must build everything from scratch, including the power unit. I decided to go ahead and make it a diesel-powered unit. It's going to be a completely self-contained unit that'll furnish um, 10 stations of hydraulic power at 3,000 PSI, 30 GPM. So it's a, it's a powerful unit. Another problem, the giant hand must be portable enough to fit on a truck. I have to be able to move it from my place to the venue. I have to get it to Burning Man. So this is the hand of man. This is the beginning of the sculpture. What we have here is the main pivot. It's gonna give the pan the side to side. This is the arm coming out here. The cylinders will make the arm go up and down. Actually, all I've built so far is up to the wrist. Whatever the hand is carrying will all be coming out of here. And what I've built really only is about half the length of the arm. I'm gonna go another 12 feet probably. This thing's gonna be a lot longer. Won't even fit in the shop. Risto is now confronted by perhaps the most complicated part of all, a finger. Mechanically, it's the most intricate part of the whole sculpture is the fingers. You know, I'm getting them to fold up properly and, and have the kind of action that's going to allow them to actually grab things. No part of the hydraulic hand has ever been tested until now. This is actually pretty exciting. I'm about to test the function of the first two joints of the pinky for the first time ever. If it doesn't work, then I have a problem. It's good. It's a prototype, and it worked great. Although the finger works like it's supposed to, Risto's running out of time. Every time I stop and think about how much work there is left, I freak out. I must complete the work in the allotted amount of time. I have no choice. A few weeks later, the Hand of Man is revealed in its final form. The giant steel and hydraulic hybrid weighs nearly 10 tons. Its 20 actuators and eight axes of motion make it move like a real human hand. It appears that Risto's pulled it off until the power comes off. I go up or down? rotate in the direction I didn't want it to be. This is what happens on the very first day of testing. Serious failures. To start, the wrist won't rotate. There's also a serious break. So you don't get to see this very often. <laughs> oh, wow, look at steel. that. This just ripped right out and smashed that. This was it didn't stop like until that. it hit this thing. The wrist isn't strong enough to support all the weight. Luckily, Risto's girlfriend is a good welder. Repairs are underway. The rotate 
I think we're going to lock it off and lose it for, for Burning Man. A day later, Risto is now really worried. To be quite candid, right now I am very nervous and not very thrilled about the way things are going. There's a lot of work to do in a short amount of time. For Risto, overcoming major mechanical problems comes with the territory, especially when trying to turn a radical idea into reality. The question now is whether he can fix everything in time for Burning Man. Okay, so he got it done, he got it here, and it's ready to go. So Christian, show us what it can do, come on. That thing is incredible. Uh, I don't want it to come any closer than it is. Oh. <laughs> Fantastic. Thanks a lot. Congratulations. Thank you very much. That is excellent. That's the payoff. <laughs> What a payoff that was. And we've got lots more. Coming up, more Daily Planet goes to Burning Man. <laughs>